isolate the variable from the formula. In order to do this, we need to take everything that's not the variable we're trying to isolate, v, and move it over to the other side of the equal sign, including this exponent right here. Before we get started, we can try to eliminate some answers. We know that if v, the variable we're trying to solve for, if that appears in any of our answers, that will be that will mark them incorrect. Uh, but there are no answers like that. However, you can mark a incorrect because the fact that we have an exponent here means we're going to have to use a radical at some point during this process. So our final answer should have some kind of radical, and every answer does, except for a. So you could eliminate a. Now let's begin to solve. k equals 1 half times y v squared. We're trying to isolate v, but it, right now it's inside a set of parentheses, so we need to get rid of those first. And to do that, we need to get rid of 1 half. 1 half is being multiplied to v, so the opposite operation to multiplication is division. We need to divide both sides by 1 half. These 1 halves will cancel. Whenever you're dividing with fractions, remember k divided by 1 half, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. And there's a little acronym you can uh, remember to help, which is keep, change, flip. Keep the first number, change the symbol from division to multiplication, and then flip your fraction. So what we're really dealing with here is k times 2, which will give us 2k equals yv squared. We're still trying to isolate v. Let's get rid of this y next. y is being multiplied to v. Opposite operation is division, so let's divide both sides by y. These y's will cancel, leaving us with 2k over y equals v squared. Now the last thing we need to do to isolate v is get rid of this exponent. The opposite operation to an exponent is a radical a square root. So this square root will cancel out this exponent, and whatever we do to one side of the equation, we always need to do to the other. So our final answer is v equals the square root of 2k divided by y, making c our correct answer.